Yo, what's up everybody? It's Joseph T. James. We're going to be watching some of my Four Honor footage. I'm playing the Yorm here. The team that I played against, they were fairly competent. Not the best I had played. I do like the way they put themselves forward. They got me a number of times, this gank over here. Uh, this is a bad position that I'm in. Having the Nobushi on the side was the easier choice. Unfortunately, what it left me was open to this Shugaki's God Break here. He just gives me a throw over. I'm surprised he didn't go for the Demon's Bowl. But, uh, you know, good choice on his part. His little duel I did with a, another Yom on the team. He didn't seem to have a fully grasp all the uh, tools and range of the character, so you can see me here taking advantage over his um, inaction. He sort of went in a little too hard. I target switched to that JJ, thinking that I was going to have to deal with the parry from him. I just missed that um, ground pound just then, so I was a little bit kind of confused in how I didn't get the ground pound as early. But I've been having issues with um, Yuan's ground pound. Just notice how I'm dodging a lot when that JJ's around. I don't like to stand still uh, when the JJ is in revenge mode, even if he's not aiming at me. Uh, but absolutely was an easy uh, ground pound. Yep, get the parry and seal the deal. No execution because of the minions. So in this interaction here, this JJ was very, very scared about most of in our interactions. He dodges once, he dodges twice, and he considered this was no longer worth his time, so he starts evading once he sees the teammates come by. Yeah. So as he's running here, I've already made the initial movements. I'm going to go to that exit because I know that's where he wants to go, and then I'm going to do his whilst run, um, dodge forward heavy. That is great tracking, so even rolling enemies get hit by it. This interaction here with the Shugaki, um, me tanking that hit wasn't particularly the smartest choice, but the cancel into the gut punch was uh, very good. I knew he, that Shugaki wanted to finish his chain, and he didn't want to do with the mix-up. Unfortunately, for the Shugaki at that point, there wasn't really much he could do to kind of save himself except for standing his ground and going for a parry. Here I am being put in the mix-up. This particular arrangement right here, Shugaki on the left and uh, Yom on the right, is a actual arrangement that occurs multiple times that Yom <laughs> did not drop, which I think is very strange. So just the way the fight started, you had the um, unblockable on the side, it happened again right there. You don't want to be in that position, so if you find yourself kind of with the Shugaki on your left and Yom on the front, uh, it might be easier for you to actually put the Shugaki in front and the Yom at the side. Now switch the Shinobi. Uh, I like this character a lot and I've been very interested in making sure that I can find all sorts of new uses and interaction with the character. That was strange, the way the ranged heavy sort of went at the air instead of hitting the Highland, um, the Raider. I sort of back out there. I didn't actually want to do a back roll. Um, I wanted to actually just do a double dodge uh, left and then back. He's kind of running away here, so I try to seal the deal. I can't really, so I think it's a little bit worth more my time not to engage with him. Here's this Yom again from the last game. He's being a little bit more aggressive, but I've punished him twice now for his aggression. And um, watch how I control the range there. I knew there was an extra little s forward step that the Yom does when he does his lights. He's still inactive. I went for the deflect, not as successful. Using the left, using the side dodge, back dodge, um, double dodge allows you to do that kick where he kicks directly forward. That really helps when you deal with Yom's um, lights. I find Yom's lights are much easier to deal with than many other characters' lights. Uh, Yom's lights band particularly. When you're low health and Tiandi's person you, you should basically accept death. <laughs> it's over for you. 
trying to get that Valkyrie. I thought I could get Execution, but we'll have to consider with this Tiandi. That deflect was very, very intentional. I knew it was coming. My my whole principle was I'm either going to dodge a Palm Strike or I'm going to deflect the light. So I went that direction. This poor Tiandi went for the Dragon Dance, but um, every now and then the follow-up heavy from the ranged heavy is has got great tracking. Other times it doesn't have great tracking at all. The Shugaki went for his Demon's Embrace and he tried to chain it. Uh, we take advantage of that. That heavy put him in a position where the Demon's Embrace was guaranteed. That Raider could not do anything about it. Fast forward a little bit. This Tiandi here trying to challenge the Shugaki by the doorway. Not advisable. And he's done. In a few seconds like that. Uh, you know, Tiandis, you want space. That's how you do very well. You want to be able to get into the Dragon Dance. I should have known that was going to occur. Um, this young Valkyrie attempted to go for the mix-up. Because of that, I could actually get the double dodge. If she continues to do these lights, 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 it's very difficult to actually get double dodge to work. So I had a feeling that uh, she was going to initiate more light spam, and you punish that by doing a ranged heavy. Here she's out of stam. The opponent behind her is going to make her life very difficult. When I kicked her, the Jigaki's Demon's Embrace didn't connect, which I thought was strange. But um, overall, we won the fight, so it's not too important. There's going to be some more combat that follows up. Another person is going to be entering this zone. Oh, here we go. It's this same Yorm. Uh, side dodge, foot back dodge, uh, deflect. And revenge mode instantly from the ground pound. Um, 38 plus 6. That is 44 bits of damage for a... Revenge mode punish with Shinobi. And the double dodge saves the Shugaki from that bit of damage there. Um, I think I wouldn't mind Hyper Armor on his uh, ranged heavies. Sorry, on the heavy finisher after a forward roll. I think that. Um, like, one or two things will definitely make that more exciting. One, give it uh, an undodgeable properties or make it have hyper armor. It would make it a little bit more of a dynamic choice. Because as of now, the, the best use of it is to actually cancel it into a guard break. Or um, hope that your opponent isn't just going to stand still, look for it, and give it a parry. Here we go. That was very uh, well timed. A lot of that just came into with uh, your understanding of player psychology. It's so funny that that bot decided not to actually ledge him, but instead punch him away. That whole gank was dealt with very successfully. So the jumping... That was meant to be a deflect, but I kind of didn't do it correctly. This arrangement is bad, because I have a... All three of them are in front of me. Now I've put myself in a position where they're on the right of me. Um, I've shifted from being ganked to ganking. Lost about a third of my stamina on one punish by the Valkyrie. Um, I could have deflected that if I was prepared for it. I'm expecting her to start light spamming the air, like that. But she's building distance. She's building. Um, she closed the distance first, then she's starting her light spam. So that was very smart of this uh, Valkyrie. This particular gank here, um, it is not a great one. As you can see what I'm doing is that I'm focusing on the Kensei. You shouldn't actually do this, you said you should focus on the Nobushi. I went for the guard break, which is a fool's decision, the Nobushi was ready for it. I went for another deflect there. Uh, the light spam occurring from the Kensei is almost unbeatable. Uh, as a Shinobi it is exceedingly difficult to actually get through a Kensei's light spam. He dodge attacks. I should have known that was going to happen. That should have been a parry. Um, Nobushi gets a parry there. Um, as the Kensei is considering his next options, they push forward together. 
no revenge mode is given for that uh, heavy, but a revenge mode is given for that one, which I think is very strange. Um, so the Kensei comes up here, and the follow-up light happens too quick for me to actually enter uh, Veen with the revenge mode. I'm sort of mulling over the decisions on why our points are low, so instead of charging into zone C, I go to fight this Shugaki. Um, this is a bad position I'm in right here. Right over here. And so he puts me back in the corner, in this sort of strange position. And I couldn't escape with double dodge because of the minions. And as I go deeper into the minions, I've actually made a worse choice for myself. Luckily, this Shugaki was not ready for that guard break so I could seal the deal. Did you see the way the uh, animation kind of did this weird thing on the side? You the fact that that Nobushi did not continue with the heavy is really strange. Punish the kick, the Shugaki hits me in the back of the head. And here we go, another missed heavy. I don't know why that occurs sometimes. When the Shugaki throws the opponent on the floor, the ranged heavy will flow right above the enemy as if the Shugaki can't even aim. I knew I was in a problem as soon as that bot came right up to me. I'm surprised they didn't do the dodge forward, uh, dodge forward light. Here me going for this revive, I'm thinking I'm slick. Nobushi sees me. Kick, heavy, misses the kick, goes for the lights. I should have gone for the guard break instead. It's just slow stamp, but so am I. Guard break city. And I am dead in a few moments. There we go. It's a lot of damage. That Nobushi uh, beginning a light spam. I thought that was going to ledge, but um, I was mistaken. In fact, I went for a ranged uh, heavy there, unintentionally. I was trying to do a regular heavy. Shinobi's heavies are notoriously, notoriously slow. I thought she was going to do a side dodge uh, heavy. <laughs> I had mute. I'm surprised that Nobushi actually got hit by that ranged heavy. I, I I went for the risk, but it was so. If you dodge one of the Kensei's lights and he decides to do a follow-up light, there's just nothing you can do about it. You will get hit. You're you. There's nothing you can do, but you'll get hit as a Shinobi. So you have to go attempt those deflex. You see what happened with that Nobushi just now is that she got caught on the environment. So that actually got me the ability to link her with the uh, Sickle Rain. I always find it funny that Shinobi's moves and names are like Ghoul's Rage. <laughs> Boosh! And Revenge? Nope. I got the Revenge, but I didn't activate it in time. That's just one of the um, mistakes you notice I do quite frequently, is not having my finger on the Revenge button. Here this match we have the uh, Shinobi again. I have a big boy on my team, Mr. Shugaki. He comes in. You see, I actually got out this time instead of being hit on the back of the head. Uh, that was a really strange just an interaction just then between the kick on both sides. I assumed that was going to be a deflect, but um, you know, deflects are very particular moves. What I wanted to attempt was go for the heavy. Um, oh, that was really slick. Using the uh, forward roll to avoid damage from the uh, Lawbringer. Uh, every now and then, if you are, if you have like great awareness of the field, you can use your forward roll to avoid damage quite frequently. This guy might get he got revenge, but he did not activate it quickly okay. enough. It happened in, like less than a second. Dead. So I go for that dodge, but um, I was not slick enough. Wow, and then he parries the light. That guy was on it. He was on it. Well done to him. I got flipped right there. And because a lot of BPs like to use the heavy follow up, because what it provides them is an undodgeable property on their heavies, and the way shinobis like to double dodge, it normally gives them free hits. Um, I used double dodge in order to seal the deal on that. A little bit of environmental awareness there. 
see again, he went for it, and I punished him with a double dodge. At this stage, I'm about to die. Every single bit of that input was, of that um, chain was, was accounted for, but uh, unfortunately I couldn't keep myself alive. This Nobushi is generous enough to revive me. Bless her soul. So that instance with the uh, BPs trying to use the heavy fall up after a light, you'll just you'll notice me um, try to deal with that a little bit differently uh, coming up uh, because I assumed I can get deflex. Yes, every little hit it does well. That kick was unnecessary, right? Because he w was already bleeding to death. I'm actually kind of surprised that um, I, that kick knocked the Shugaki out of his mode. So, that's the deflect I was looking for. He could have hit me into the spikes, which I think was very foolish. See that back step I did when I saw the Art Profundus? I knew I was going to get hit by that, so it wasn't smart. That was so strange, the way he actually just kind of pushed the BP back. You cannot art profundus, you cannot guard break someone sort of mid art profundus. Here's this uh, Orochi, he's going to be seeking me. I stopped execution. I got the parry on that. I was hoping to get the parry on the other heavy, but it was BANG! Not on the right marker. Right on my head. As Lawbringers, just doing a raw heavy is actually very, very suggested against you know because they will try to deflect it, they will try to double dodge it. So it is, it is in your interest to just attempt it. It doesn't feel safe. It isn't really safe, but it is in your best interest. Um, we're going to engage in this gank over here. Overall, I thought I could stop the execution, which was my main goal. The Shigaki is uh, he's a provider. That um, BP just use Oathbreaker, try to catch me with the un with the heavy follow up because he knows I love dodging, and then the Sorochi sealed the deal with Storm Rush. Foolishly, I don't think I would have even paid attention to him. So here I am trying to go for that deflect, and then whoop, I miss again, and I decide no, thank you. I'm going to go avoid this whole scenario, and then I go downstairs to heal. Uh, this interaction here with the Kensei, ye old light spamu, get the parry on the heavy, and the light spam, it's just light, 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 the light chain, lights, lights, and now he's out of stam, so I can do my pressure, he's in the behind a corner, he can't get anywhere. I'm out of stem, so I can't do anything. He's gonna light spam me to death. Bam, bam. 